So in this uh, tutorial, we'll talk about logical functions. Uh, logical functions, I believe you already know uh, that uh, whenever we use uh, if else statement uh, and we put uh, conditions that okay, if a is equal to one, and if we want to specify multiple conditions, we use and or and not logic in the chain. So these functions come under the category of logical functions. So we have three functions and or and not. Alright, so uh, uh, if we have multiple conditions and we want to group them together or um, by either logic like and or not, uh, then we use uh, logical functions. So the syntax is very simple. Uh, we just need to use a keyword uh, of the function name which, you, which we want to use. So for example, if a is equal to 1, I declare a as integer and let's say, right, a is enough let's say a is 100 right and if i make a check here if a is greater than 50 then uh, and if and inside this block i display a message box that a is greater than 50 so this is simple uh, if else block and uh, not not uh, if else but a simple if block which is checking whether the value of a is greater than 50 or not and it display a message box uh, that a is greater than 50 um, but now if i put two conditions here if i want to put two uh, put two conditions that if a is between 50 and 100 so for that i'll be using the logical function named as and so i will put another condition here a is less than 100 so now the value of a should fall between 50 and 100 right so my value of a is let's say 99 which falls in uh, this uh, range so now it, it gives me a whatever message I print here or I can change it accordingly less than 100 right so this way uh, I'm getting the output by using uh, logical functions so I can have n number of uh, such expressions here uh, just uh, separated by the keyword of the function name that we use similarly we we can have we have uh, uh, the next function is or function uh, if you want to um, check uh, that if any of these two conditions passes and we want to go execute the uh, inner block, uh, we can use uh, or function. So we can say if a is greater than 50 or a is let's say or let's say p is greater than 50 and we, we def declare another variable p as integer here and we initialize b as let's say 10 so now if a is greater than 50 and b is greater or b is greater than 50 then uh, just uh, display a message box with value hello right so now you can see that first condition is passing but second is failing still uh, this block will uh, get executed and will see hello as a message box but uh, let's say we change it to uh, let's say a is greater than 1000 or b is let's say greater than 50 now both the conditions are failing so nothing is getting displayed it simply skips the block but let's say if we make b is equal to 10 now the second block uh, uh, has one condition uh, I mean uh, or in this block we have second condition which is passing so it should execute the block so for this uh, such type of case we use or if we want to make sure that any of the conditions is passing and we can have n number of such conditions here and the third one is uh, not function so not function is just uh, to reverse the, the the condition that you want to use so for example if a is greater than 10,000 uh, then you want to display a message box which is not executing the block but if you put a not of uh, a uh, greater than 10,000 here and let's say you put the entire expression in a uh, uh, square uh, in a round bracket so it will simply reverse the uh, uh, the, uh, the output of uh, this expression and which is uh, false here so not of false is true so if true then execute this block so this block will get executed so that's all about uh, the logical functions and the next tutorial will talk about array functions thank you